Denise Joy, and I tackle some of the most challenging rooms in a home and turn them into a destination the homeowners will love. In one weekend, using paint, repurposed furniture, a few budget-friendly new and secondhand purchases, along with some good old DIY sweat equity from the homeowner, I sprinkle my magic pixie dust, creating beautifully curated spaces. Trust me, it's not just a room makeover, it transforms your life. In every episode, I give you a backstage pass to see it all, the prep, the process, and the dramatic before and after reveal. Here in episode five, I'm doing things just a little bit different. This homeowner won't have a traditional DIY duo project because she is transforming an outdated back porch, turning it into a sister girl getaway den. Once I had interviewed her, I realized that she had a very unique aesthetic. She wanted that custom on a budget glam, comfortable look that curated look. So I used a couple of inspiration photos to guide my design decisions. I pulled these photos from some of my favorite design magazines, El Decor, Veranda, and Home Beautiful. Using inspiration photos is a great way to stimulate your creativity and to make sure that you've got your client's design aesthetic on point. Instead of the traditional DIY project, I had her go out on a couple of shopping expeditions, text me photos or videos, and I told her exactly what to purchase. How did I go from this to this? Let me show you how. Again, I am doing things just a little bit different in episode five of DIY Duo Redesign. I'm actually designing two different looks. One, I'm using inspiration pieces from my own collection to share and show the homeowner so she can draw more insight about what she wants for her final look. In look number two, I'm going to be using the homeowner's existing fantastic collection of artwork to pull together a gallery feel in her sister girl getaway den and she's going to select some of the pieces that I use in look number one so that I can include them in look number two. Stay tuned y'all. It's day one of DIY Duo Redesign and I am redesigning a small den for a client. She wants it to be her own girlfriend getaway. She wants to have that chic, modern, laid back vibe. And it's a bit of a challenge because it's a really small footprint and I want to give it a lot of bang for its buck. Let's see how I do. This was a temporary look the homeowner pulled together waiting for me to come sprinkle my magic pixie dust. So let me get to it. The color of this small sofa settee fits right in with what they call the new neutrals. During my homeowner shopping spree, I told her to snag this gorgeous seating that mirrored this $6,000 designer chair. Notice the curve of that seat back. For this custom on a budget design, I got two of the furniture pieces off of Facebook Marketplace, the chest and the mid-century modern life. The homeowner really loves earth tones like golds and russets and oranges and shades of browns. These tall reeds will bring in those earth tones and really accentuate these high ceilings. When you have a small space but you've got high ceilings, you want to do something that tells the eye, look up, take in the space. It actually makes the room feel larger. If you love these tall reeds, you can get them for a bargain at Ikea. For look number one, I'm curating the look by adding some of that glam that the client loves by using the sheen and the shimmer on this mercury lamp. 
I'm also bringing in this signature artwork from my own collection to demonstrate the boldness of the artwork that can exist in a small space. After I get a few pieces in, I always step back to see, is it working? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. This multicolored floor covering is going to do two things. Number one, it's going to soften the space and be comfortable on the bare foot. And it's going to ground the room with its strong but subtle earth tones. House look number one coming along. Drop a comment and let me know what you think. In look number one, in this corner, I'm adding this mirror to give us a reflection and help expand the room. For look number two, this looks totally different. When hanging artwork, you want the artwork to be at eye level. You don't want your pieces making people have to tilt their neck up or down. Even a small sofa can benefit from a few gorgeous pillows. And voila, here we have it. Sister Girl Getaway Den, look number one. In this look, I have combined the purchases that the client made, the settee and the gorgeous barrel back chair, along with the two purchases I got from Facebook Marketplace, gotta love that, the chest and the mid-century modern life, and then paired them with some signature pieces from my own collection. Those pieces are serving as inspiration for the homeowner so that she can make some decisions about her final look. Up next, look number two. Hi everyone, it's day two of DIY Duo Redesign. This is the finale episode, episode five. I am redesigning a small, basically almost tiny den for a client. She wants it to be her own girl getaway, and that's what I'm gonna deliver. For look number two, I'm going to keep several of the base pieces that I included in look number one, but there are things that I'm swapping out, starting with this mirror. I'm replacing it with one of the homeowner's fantastic pieces from her art collection. Quick pro tip, clean your art. It makes a huge difference. One of the homeowner's goals was to have seating for three people. In my design, I showed her how she could have the settee, a chair, and a small bench for the third person. She swore it would be too much, too crowded. So in look number one, my job was to convince her that not only would it work, that it would look fabulous. In look number one, the bench I used was a cowhide bench from Room and Board. Now I'm swapping that out with a gorgeous bench that I got off of Facebook Marketplace from Pottery Barn. This Pottery Barn bench is going to give the homeowner that custom on a budget look. I also took advantage of this moment to swap out the decor pieces. You can quickly transform a room by swapping out decor.
swapping out this light fixture for one that has less mass is going to really keep the room open. That's critical when you have a small space. Last thing before the reveal, installing the window treatment. Woo child, these window treatments gave me fits. At the last minute, I ended up having to make a mad dash. The homeowner dishes the scoop in the reveal. Because this panel was right next to the door, I decided to secure it to the edge of the window with some self-adhesive Velcro. Pro tip. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single episode. Turning a space into a destination the homeowner will love brings me joy. Oh my gosh. Next up, the reveal. This is beautiful. Supporting homeowners when they decide to disrupt their entire living space because they want to transform their home and turn it into a destination they love is no small task. But it's a task that I'm up for because I passionately believe in helping homeowners make their home custom on a budget. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. It is gorgeous. This is beautiful. I could have never ever done this. I mean, this is my cozy back porch that used to be full of junk and boxes. This is stunning. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Pieces that I've had in boxes for 10 years. Artwork that I bought in the 90s, but I didn't know where to put it or how to place it and make it really look good and match well. But the colors, it's everything I asked for. I love golds, I love red. To elephants, I've got my DST letters. Um, it's a special place where I can come and sit and I can pop open a book with the light above my head. I can relax, I can have a cocktail, I can entertain in a cozy environment that speaks to me. I will admit before this reveal weekend, I did have uh, two friends over sitting on that couch in another chair I own. And I mentioned there would be a chest in here. And they said, you don't have enough room for that. And I agree. I really thought this space was so tiny that the more things that we would add to it that you mentioned that you had, I said, mm, it's not gonna work. Then I come in and look at this space and I say, how does it look so much bigger? I mean, it literally looks about twice the size of what it really is. More than that, it is a small space, but more than that, with the furniture that's in here, it doesn't look small anymore. It actually looks roomy, it looks comfortable. And again, I just attribute that to your eye, <laughs> your top-notch design skills, and knowing what a client really needs and telling them that, trust me, I have it. <laughs> Initially, um, I wanted blinds, and then the custom blinds that I was looking at were a little out of my budget. And so then I said, oh, we'll do panels. And, and then I remember you brought some panels initially to me, and they weren't long enough. And so that didn't work. Um, so 
your genius eye made a mad dash to Ikea to find these Roman shades. Um, and I never thought of this color uh, to have the shades. I originally thought, oh, they'll just be, you know, white, or gray, or cream in the middle. But the Roman shades combined with these panels, it's stunning. It's the perfect combination. And I couldn't be happier with how the window treatment came out because I really, really like this much better than actually doing with blinds. So this space here, it was just a doorway. And when I was having the room renovated, uh, I asked the contractor to actually build for me uh, some storage space with shelving. I am a new initiate in uh, the Washington DC alumni chapter. Uh, and I am so thrilled to be a part of the sisterhood that whoever comes to sit here <laughs> and be with me in my space, I want them to see uh, my collection of elephants, my treasures, and uh, so I love this space. He did a phenomenal job. I love everything about this renovation. The rug pulls everything together. It's the right colors and. Hey, leave me a comment. Let me know which look did you love? Look one or look two? Or was it a combination of both, like the homeowner? I couldn't be happier. I am thrilled and I owe it all to you. And Denise, I have something for you. Hi. Oh, okay, um, I want to say, first of all, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really, really treasure your expertise and um, someone who is type A and likes to control everything had to release control and, you know, say, just trust me, trust me. And again, admittedly, like, I'm not a designer, but I know what I like. Like, I like nice things. Uh, Denise will say, champagne taste on a beer budget, but I like nice things and I know what I like, but I can't pull it together. I would have never been able to pull this together and I would have never really had the time to do this. So I want to thank you first for giving up your time and your talent to help me make this space what it is. You are so, so gifted. First, you trained my children, okay? in your performing arts camp at Howard. And I said, gosh, what a visionary. She's an excellent writer. I mean, I'm a journalist, so I really like, like you know, you know, have that kids and writers. I said, gosh, she's an excellent writer. So these shows that they're putting on, right? But you have then turned those performing arts skills, which you said you had all along, to this visual art skill set, which is really unmatched. I followed you on social media. I see how you take something and turn it into looking like it was like $500,000. <laughs> but I really feel as though artists, right, are gifted. And you, my sore, my sister, are gifted. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I'll see you in the next episode.